Oh, so today we will learn about decimal points. Why do we need decimal points? So, for example, I have a number here, nine hundred and ninety-nine upon thousand. How would I express this in a decimal point? It's your point nine nine nine. But is this so important? Yes, it is. We will learn it ahead. First, if I have a number zero point one two one, now is this number going on and on? No, it stops at three decimal points. Zero point one two one, as there are three digits. Then this number is this going on and on? No, it stops. One, two, three, four, five, six, and at six decimal point it stops. Now here we will learn some numbers which do not stop at any point. They go on and on. So for example, I have number three point seven bar. So this would go on and on, but what does this bar on this mean yes it means 3.77777 like that if you go till infinite then you would get the exact number but you can't go no here pi this is not the exact value of pi as pi goes on, on and on and we cannot write it therefore this would give us the Approximate value of pi, which is three point one four one five nine two six five three five. Till here, you should know till ten decimal places. Now, addition of some decimal numbers. Yes, here I have two decimal numbers. First is three point one two, and the next is one point one two one one. So, how would I add these? Yes. Addition is very simple. First, put two zeros as to make a rectangle around it. Therefore, we put two zeros. Then zero plus one, which is one. Zero plus one again, which is one. Then two plus two, which is four. One plus one, which is two. Then three plus one, which is four. But we forgot the decimal point. That is the main thing. So these two come down. And form a decimal point. Therefore, the answer would be four point two four one one. Now, was this simple? If I just replace this with a nine, here I keep one, here zero, and here also I replace this number with a nine. Then, what would be our answer? Yes. How to solve this problem? So, zero plus one, one, one plus nine. Ten. So here we carry on the after the decimal point also. So two plus one plus two, which is five. Then one plus nine, which is ten. After that, one plus three plus one, which is five. We can carry it across the decimal point also. And remember, we have to carry. If we don't, then our answer would come out to be wrong. Then nine point seven multiplied by two point one one. In multiplication, what we do is that we remove the decimal points. So after removing, we just have to multiply ninety seven with two one one. So how would I do this? Ninety seven then cross then ninety seven. We already learned shortcuts. So let's apply them now. Now ninety seven into two. That is very simple. One, nine, and four. Then seven will come down as it is. Six here one, four one, zero one, and two zero four six seven. But do you think the answer is so big? But the numbers are small. So we have forgot the we forgot the decimal point. As we didn't do anything with decimal point, we did not multiply nine point seven with. Two point one one. We instead multiplied ninety seven point with two one one. So, for make this answer correct, what would we do? Yes, we would just insert a decimal point here. But how? Yes, it has two ways. First one, 
it would work half time or half time not but the second one is 100% sure so first let's take the first one here just multiply the ones digits so when we multiply the ones digits of the number then what do we get 18 so 18 is a two digit number so from here we get two digits and we put a decimal point sometimes it can go wrong also so for that to correct the accuracy what do we do yes we take the numbers after the decimal point we ju just join the decimal points then how many numbers can you see if you don't see beyond this line only you see after this line so you get 7 1 and 1 therefore they have 3 digits therefore from back we go 3 digits by that also we can get the answer now multiplication here this question is very simple it is very simple so 2.0 into 3.112 what do we do here is we just multiply 3.112 with 2 so 2 multiplied by 2 which is 4 then 2 multiplied by 1 which is 2 1 multiplied by 2 which is 2 we bring the decimal point down then 2 multiplied by 3 which is 6 therefore our answer would be 6.224 now 9.9 .9 multiplied by 9.911 how will we do this yes this is very simple first 900 99 9911 multiplied by 99 our first step step was that so 9 ones are 9 9 ones are 9 okay 9 nine are 81 9 are 81 plus 8 that is 89 then we put a cross after that we write 8 9 1 9 9 so let's do that after that we add like 9 would come down as it is then 9 plus 9 18 1 k 8 then after that 11 1 k 8 and then after that again 11 1 k 8 then what do we get yes after that 18 and 9 therefore our answer is 981189 so do you see a pattern yes it is 981 then 189 here it seems as we have put a mirror but do you think something something is wrong in the answer yes the decimal point so how do we do it by estimation and how with the correct answer with the help of correct answer yes so first we make a line here we count the number the digits therefore so we put the decimal point here and with the help of estimation 9 into 9 81 so 8 1 and then we put the decimal point as there are two digits now after that from rupees to pesa now here they have pesa and then we have rupees how i convert pesa into rupees so to convert pesa into rupees there is a simple formula we just have to divide them by 100 so it is very simple as we divide each number by 100 and to convert rupees into pesa what do we do we multiply by we multiply each of the numbers by 100 oh how simple it is so was this simple now let's try an exercise based on this we have to match pesa with rupee here 25 pesa would be equal to how many rupees yes it is 0 0.25 remember not to pronounce 25 pesa we would convert it in rupee as 0 0.25 but never do pronounce 0 0.25 as 0 0.25 after the decimal point we say each digit separately therefore it would be 0 0.25 then 
वन हंड्रेड एंड इलेवन पैसा विच इज इक्वल टू वन पॉइंट वन वन रुपीज देन ट्वेंटी वन पैसा विच इज इक्वल टू जीरो पॉइंट टू वन रुपीज देन वन थर्टी वन पैसा विच इज इक्वल टू वन पॉइंट थ्री वन रुपीज इट इज नॉट इक्वल टू थर्टीन पॉइंट वन रुपीज दिस इज अ वेरी कॉमन मिस्टेक देन फोर नाइंटी वन पैसा विच इज इक्वल टू फोर पॉइंट नाइन वन रुपीज देन थ्री हंड्रेड एंड ट्वेंटी वन पैसा विच इज इक्वल टू थ्री पॉइंट टू वन रुपीज वी आर डिवाइडिंग ईच नंबर बाय हंड्रेड सो वन थाउजेंड थ्री हंड्रेड एंड टेन इन रुपीज विल बी रन एज थर्टीन पॉइंट वन वॉज दिस ऑप्टिकल इल्यूशन सो फर्स्ट हियर यू हैव two lines which one do you think is bigger i think that the first one is bigger but when we compare these you would come to know that both are of the same size this was just an optical illusion let's have one more optical illusion so i have two lines now when this when i turn the line which is upside and i would come to know that both are equal but when you see it like this then you would say that the one that is standing on top of the another is is longer but you would come to know that both are of the same size you can make lines to understand it more better thank you bye if you like please subscribe we would be taking many interesting videos have a nice day